Hey guys, welcome back. Um, got some sand in there. Just a little update. So I got some sand in there. I'm doing the plumbing, but about to crack into it right now. Everything came in from Reef PVC. Super stoked. Um, all the finest stuff, like hats off to Reef PVC. They've really come through. Um, got a really nice PVC that has zero writing on it and all spears. Um, Hard, hardware and fittings for um, gates and I got some ball valves in there and yeah it's gonna be great so I'm just cracking into the um, the overflow and that's gonna come down in through the cabinet and into there and then after I get that done hopefully I can get that done pretty quick I'm gonna go from the return out and back into well, moving along pretty good. It's the next day, I got this all done. This is for the overflow. Uh, I'm going right in there. So, get that pretty clean. But, I was just plumbing the return. I chose a piece of white to go right in there because when you're back here you really you really can't see it that much compared to the red and I want to be able to see it, this thing with corals and fish and not be staring at red pipes so I just put a piece of white in the back there with a white elbow but I messed up I screwed up my angle on this elbow and now it comes down and it's like, it's almost like a kneecap there and kind of heading backwards. I can, I can still plumb it. I'm just, I'm just not happy because I was almost there and I managed to mess it up. Now I can't fix it unless I put, I'd have to cut that and extend it and put a joiner in it. Maybe two actually. I don't know how else to fix it. This plumbing is not as easy as everybody <laughs> as everybody uh, makes it look. I don't know. This is my first time plumbing a, a system. And it's definitely got me scratching my head a couple of times. Like, what is the best route to do this? And, yeah. I mean, putting PVC in, in elbows and 45s and stuff is not hard. But... <laughs> Trying to get it to all line up perfectly is a little bit more challenging. Some people like to use a, a million unions. Um, by the way, this isn't this piece right here. This isn't glued in. It's just dry fit. I'm just trying to figure out, <laughs> trying to figure out the best way to do this. It's like I'm gonna have to cut it. This piece here, it actually kind of cuts back in that way a little bit. You can kind of see it here. It looks pretty goofy to me. If I had a, a 22, that would probably solve my issue, but I don't. I can, I can make this valve here kind of point forwards and drop that pipe down, this pipe down further so that they meet and it's okay, but... <sighs> really wanted to fix this thing and get it done well anyways yep that's where i'm at right now checking back in in a little bit okay back again fix the plumbing just gotta get either a coupler or a union for right here and so i just straight down then 45 jog 45 jog then straight in and i put my my drain so if the tank ever overflows there's a like a half inch gap all the way around the whole tank that will drain into this and that's going into the house sump and that will double as a um, as a uh, water change line so I just keep this valve closed this valve open and I can push water through here in or back out again I'd like to try to find a black one of those but yeah, it's kind of what I'm working on right now. Uh, behind this wall, 
there's going to be a bunch of stuff. It looks like I'm probably going to end up having my um, my UV back in there. I think I might be putting the skimmer right here and then the macro reality or <laughs> the macro algae reactor right here and then Claire C right here and then yeah so working away at it slowly but surely um, a few more things to plumb in I'm going to add in the rest of the plumbing on the next video but uh, this is just a picture of the UV sterilizer that I'm installing which is uh, two inch elbows stepped down to a one inch barb fitting and it'll be hooked up to an SDC 6.0 um, some of the other uh, stuff I've got to finish plumbing are the, um, the macroalgae reactor and I'm going to do the uh, skimmer in the center chamber instead of outside and the macroalgae reactor will actually be on the outside and then some things are going to be plumbed in through the back as well. Um, but uh, we'll get to that in another episode. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, tune in for the next one. Thanks.